Let me ask you about the the maker movement seemed to predate um, sort of what you did, and you kind of got into the maker space. Yep. And now they've kind of collided in a way. It seems like you have these families where, yeah, maybe the boys are doing one set of making, the mom's doing another one. Is there an ant? Is this all about like anti capitalism, or is it? Mm-hmm an anti-digital in like in that I want to actually get back to something more pure. And instead of just wasting my time playing video games and consuming TV shows, I just want to, as a human being, feel something in my hands and feel the, the joy of creating something in the real world as opposed to Farmville or leveling up <laughs> in Minecraft or whatever the heck they're doing. So over I think there. there are like three different things at play here. One for this generation, uh, meaning uh, largely millennials and then Gen Z, which is which is even more into the maker movement than millennials. Um, they have grown up with tech and digital, so you're right. Yes, they want to get away from the screens a little bit. They want to. It's like literally in our instincts and in our you know ancestry to know how to make things to survive. Like right. cavemen had to build homes and make food to survive. And and the fact that a lot of us don't know how to make eggs when we go off to college is scary. Um, and and we, and we want to, and it's cool to do that again. And so I do think that there's a little bit of that at play. Um, we've also grown up in this era of big box retailers, right? When I was a kid in the 80s and 90s, it was, you know, um, McDon- you know, McDonald's, fast food, you know, all the fast food chains. It, it was, you know, all the, the same mall. clothing brands them at the mall. We all shopped at the same places. And now, because of social media, everyone wants to be different. Everyone mm. wants to be unique. Uh, and they want to share that with other people. So right. I actually think the biggest trend at play here is the notion of customization and personalization. Oh. And the fact that self-manufacturing... At home, whether you're printing a pair of earrings on your 3D printer, I saw you just invested in a desktop, desktop metal, metal, which yeah. is awesome. I was I was an angel investor in it. Oh, so Rick cool. Rick Fulop was the guy who created A123 Systems, the yeah. battery pack company, and then he told me, I'm going to make a metal 3D printer. And I was like, right. a 3D printer that prints metal? Can I invest in that? He's like, yeah, yeah okay. If you want like, to, you might lose your money. I'm like, that's kind of the business I'm in. Like, Let's go. Women wouldn't traditionally be metal workers somewhere, right? Yeah. But like... If you say to them, well, like, you can make your own jewelry, you can make forks and spoons that have your like family initials on them. You can, you know, do it, all these things. It's like their mind explodes with oh, what want, they can do. I'll get do. you one. Do you want one of the, 3D, I would love the metal one. 3D printers? Yes. Yes. All right, uh, yeah. Emmy Award producer, let my uh, executive assistant Jess know <laughs> that I need Rick Fulop to send that desktop 3D metal $100,000 printer on loan for a year to Brit. And she's, but in Thank exchange, it. she's going to just give him a link back. You, I'll give I'll you link back. You I'll link back. Some, I'll, some link. back? I'll, I'll hit some links for you. <laughs> um, all, it really is about the follow back and the link it back. It is the link back. Yeah. Well, but what's interesting about what you're saying about customization is yeah. if you, it, it really is a reaction in your mind to just this corporate cookie cutter mass production of stuff. And if you, mm. it's interesting if you look at Coachella in a way, uh, it really is this self-expression or Burning Man, mm-hmm. which is kind of like the more hardcore version of Coachella. Coachella is kind of like the little easier version. But people really go there to make their outfit, to, to yeah, make their statement. Expression. It's artistic expression yeah. mm-hmm. in a way. Totally. Coachella. And it's huge with young women, right? right. Like, And they're sharing everything on Instagram and right. everything on Snapchat. They want to be different. They want to be known that they did something in a new way that's different from their friends, that's special and unique to them. Um, I think for gifting purposes too, like it's just innate. I gave my mom uh, every Mother's Day. I bought her a jewelry, like jewelry, a necklace, whatever. Right. One day I made her one instead. Literally every time I see her, she's wearing that necklace. Uh-huh. Um, there's something about the fact that you put in time to do this for me. Right. Um, whether you cooked something for me, I try to tell my husband this a lot. I'm like, can you please? And so it's Mother's Day. Like, don't buy me flowers. Like, right. make me a meal. Like, right. put in some effort. You know, like right. <laughs> it's it is. the traditional husband wife conversation. Uh, right. But, but that you know that goes a long way. I think it's really meaningful human to human, you know, interaction and connection. 